When you wrong, you wrong. And Governor Whitman, we are here to tell you today, you're wrong. Frustration and outrage tonight as a community fights for a school district in turmoil. Michigan plans to shut down Benton Harbor High School and its superintendent is likely jumping ship for a new job. WSBT 22's Lauren Becker spent hours in a packed room with people who are tiger proud. And Lauren, this meeting was not a quiet one. No, it wasn't Dane City officials and community members loudly voiced their concerns of closing the school. We heard rants and chants about why Governor Whitmer is wrong to even consider it. What? Shut Whitmer down. What? Shut Whitmer down. Voices unite as they chant against Governor Whitmer's proposal to close Benton Harbor High School. Shut Whitmer down. What? Shut Whitmer down. Can't hear nobody. Shut Whitmer down. People holding signs reading save our schools and wearing school colors. And as far as I'm concerned, Governor Whitmer, you can take your policies and send them straight to hell. People upset at Whitmer's administration for even considering this plan. One by one, people walked up to the microphone preaching their concerns. They decide that they want to take what we have built, take what we have held on to and move us out. What make you think that we trust you to educate our kids? The plan would close Benton Harbor High School and send them to surrounding schools. The state says it will work to improve kindergarten through eighth grade at the same time. So don't let the governor steal your schools and destroy your community without showing her that there are consequences for messing with people in Benton Harbor. The community is standing strong and not backing down. After over a dozen speakers, the city's mayor took the mic to emphasize the fight isn't stopping. When they put their gun down, we put ours down. And the gun is not a weapon, the gun is a ballot and the truth. One person bringing up Whitmer's 12 page plan when she vowed to work with Benton Harbor area schools. If she in fact is not doing what that platform suggests, then we must have to ask her the question, did she use the black vote to become the governor of Michigan? Right. The biggest question of the night, how can you save a city if you kill the one and only school? And the school board has until next Friday to respond to this plan. If they reject it, the school district would either be dissolved or turned into a charter. And I did reach out to Governor Whitmer's office to try and get a response in to tonight's meeting and didn't hear anything back. But for now, I'm live in Benton Harbor. Lauren Becker, WSBT 22 News.